point. It's a triple blade magnesium sharpener that can sharpen the, the wooden shaft and the graphite independently. Of each other. It's a brand new pig sharpener made in South Korea that I bought at a store called Fancy Pencil Land in Chicago, which sells South Korean office and, and school supplies. This is the Betka sharpener made by a Hamburg uh, office supply company, a single blade sharpener, which actually I have some issues with, so I prefer not to use this one. Okay. This is a Dolly 166, which is a hand crank German pencil sharpener designed for oversized colored pencils, but it works really well on number two pencils like this. And this is the El Casco 430, which is considered by many to be the finest hand crank pencil sharpener in the world, made by the El Casco company. I just got this for Christmas from a friend, so I'm not used to it yet. So I'm happy to use it, but I, you know. You can well, I, like it. I like the idea of this, and I, I didn't mind contributing to your learning. So, so you want to go with the and, I can film it through the hole, I can watch. Yeah, and it has an observation. There you go, action shot. Right. All right, so first thing we're going to do is adhere the sharpener to the marble countertop. It's on. Yep. Put the pencil into the aperture. Okay. Uh, and it's then we are going to set set it for maximum graphite exposure. It has four it has four four different settings. Unless you want minimal graphite, I mean how much point do you want exposed? How much of the tip? times because I'm not yet really used to this sharpener and so like with for instance with the dolly I can tell when it's done the dolly you stick it in and then a spring is drawing the, the shaft in you know into the uh, blades as it's done and you can you can tell you can tell when you've reached the, the point and this I don't know yet so we're gonna have to savings. 
things. And you'll okay. notice that they're really fine, even for a mechanical sharpener. So for instance, the Dolly produces shavings like this, which looks relatively fine, but you can see that the El Casco, it really pulverizes it. It's very, 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 very fine shavings. So we're going to bag those, and those will be returned with your pencil, because they're your property. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to, I mean, what, you could, what could you do with those pencil shavings? You can stuff a doll's pillow. Right, and I wouldn't want you to be stuffing doll's you can make, you can make, expense, you can make tea so. with it. Absorb very small amounts of blood. You can uh, compost or it. Or vomit. Sharpener, because that's the Casco. Okay. So those are your savings, and then finally, I'll fill out your certificate of sharpening. Okay. So this is the thing I've never done. Really? Let this document serve to decree and authenticate the pencil sharpener or sharpen at. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so mine was the first pencil sharpened at sea. Not the first sharpened at sea, but the, you're the first person who had the certificate. So this okay. is the first certificate. Oh, the job number is showed up, just trolled in with their pencil. Nice. Uh, tell me your name. It's Angela. And what's the last name? Brett. B R E T T. Thank you.